Hello everybody, Rob here from Average Hobby, and today we have another unboxing slash review video. So, um, this one's going to be a little different than the last one. The plan for this one is to do a three-part video, kind of in the first part of this video. We're going to unbox, and we're going to take a look and see what's inside the box. Second part of the video is going to be the entire Combat Patrol uh, put together, and how easy it was to assemble, and what they look like assembled. And then the third part of the video will be these guys all painted up in their glory of uh, green and beige <laughs> and um talk about that whole process uh, once again not big into uh, painting techniques or anything like that um but yeah so with that in mind let's get into this shall we so obviously the ostrom militarum is the combat patrol we are looking at this time we're gonna open up the box Take a look to see what comes in it. So obviously, first thing and foremost, we do have the instruction booklet. And as per the last few ones, we've got the weapon stats in the back of the book here. There's the sentinel, one of the two sentinels you can make. Uh, there it's a, I think it's an armored sentinel or a scout sentinel. Then we have the heavy weapon scene. We have the whoop, the two options for the heavy weapon scene, which is almost like half the book from the looks of it. Um, I believe they give you the option of down here of who to actually have. And I believe the next page is where they actually give you the options. Yep, for the three different guns. From the front we got the command squad and then the actual squads after the fact. Okay. So just, you know, your usual instruction booklet. Nothing too fancy there we obviously have our transfer sheet with all our stuff on it we've got okay so three bases i'm gonna assume this is for the sentinel and then these two i'm assuming are for the weapon squads because i think the sentinel yeah the sentinel comes on a base okay we need the bases for our Troops, and then I'm assuming this is for our headquarters squad. We have our sprue here for the heavy weapon squad. A little other looks like lass or some sort of like uh, almost like a 105 howitzer. Um, okay, so it's all three. So funny thing, um, you can build out all three of uh, both of these, whichever way you want. You can either do it as uh, a last cannon. Um, some sort of basilisk cannon, I'm assuming. And then the, I don't know what that is. It's like some sort of like maybe a storm bolter, heavy storm bolter type thing. Uh, but yeah, you can do, here's the other one here. Here's the chassis. See the chassis there and there. Where the gun sits on, that's nice. Set those off to the side there. And as we go to this one here, this one looks like from... The cockpit here and a foot. I'm assuming this is actually the either the scout walker or the armored walker, whichever you want. I'm gonna go with the armored walker just so I don't have to worry about painting the inside. <laughs> yeah, there's the plasma gun. Okay, so these are actually all painted like 100 percent around. Okay. Nice. And then there's the armored doors and things like that. So then the chain gun or the chain sword and their version of a anti-tank muscle, I guess. Nice, 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 nice. Then it looks like this is the headquarters squad, because the big flag there. So I don't know how this comes across, but look at that. That is a pretty flag right there. It's going to be a pain to paint. Um, but yeah, this looks like it is the headquarters unit. Um, if I turn this light on, is it going to blow everything out? Uh, for a split second, it does. But yeah. So we got the Cadian flag there, which you can't really see because I mean it's gray on gray on gray, right? Um, so yeah, so the headquarters squad, very nice. I like it. I think maybe painting some of these guys' chests are going to be a problem, but you know. And then this is our infantry. We got our Vox caster over there. 
some sandbags for I'm assuming um, just things to put down on the ground. How many heads do we have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 18, 19, 20, 21, 20. 25 heads? Really? Holy crap, you got a lot of heads. Um, these guys look monopose, if I were to guess. Just from the way these sit. Don't know how I feel about that. Um, to put that into perspective, so to put that into perspective, here are some Imperial Guards from almost 20 years ago. Uh, basically, you have your torso, which sat in basically like a square or rectangle, you could set it on and turn it. You can kind of see right in through there but yeah these are 20 year old so obviously a lot of the <laughs> stuff's worn off on them but they weren't monocast so that is a little worrisome to me that it seems like they're they're in one stance and they're going to be in one stance only which is going to possibly suck this guy kind of shows the best. So you actually see like right in here where the body doesn't quite line up. There's a little bit of a thing there. But yeah, these are 20 year old models though. But if I actually look. Nope. This person's head isn't in any of these. Um, yeah, so. And then there's more. You get, I think it's 10. You get 20, um, 20 guardsmen, and you get almost twice as many heads. <laughs> um, overall, um, we'll break down the actual contents, what it actually says it has. So according to the actual box, uh, we're going to get 28 miniatures of the, obviously, the Astro Meryl Tarum. Uh, we're going to get 20 infantrymen, 5 command squad, 2 heavy support batteries, um, and then one either armored sentinel or scouted sentinel. Um, we get to kind of you get to pick which one. I'm gonna go with the armored sentinel just because it'll be easier to paint. Um, and then the heavy squads. I'm gonna look at the the book. Uh, we'll swing this over here real quick. Uh, prior to putting some stuff together, I will be going through the ninth edition codex just to kind of be like, okay, which guns do I want to put on here do it that I think are better um, even though 10th is probably a month away um, I'm still gonna you know do that anyways but yeah so there we go so the next part of this video these guys will all be put together and uh, I will have my opinions on that so I will be right back and we're back okay everybody so um <laughs> done so I have put together the entire collection, all 20 guardsmen, the five from the headquarters, the two uh, batteries, and obviously the sentinel. So overall, how was it to put together? Pretty easy. Um, I didn't mind it too much, other than the fact that the um, sentinel here had a couple parts on the legs uh, misnumbered in the instructions. Um, I want to say it was, I think it's this piece here was numbered with this piece. Um, and then I think it was these as well. We're showing as put on the model earlier in the model. Um, but then you put them on a couple steps after the fact, the little, the little sprockets there on the, on the, on the hip joints. Other than that, um, I did everything mostly as per the box art for the guardsman. Um, I switched out to the Armored Sentinel, then the Recon Sentinel, figured it'd be a lot easier. Um, didn't do the actual dude with the flag, because I want to do a, another headquarter unit with the flag specifically. That's my dog, sorry about that. Um, and then I did the two, um, I think these are mortars, I can't remember what these are called. Uh, overall, quite a few spare bits. Um, I like to, I'm going to be decorating the bases a little bit more before I do anything else.
And uh, sorry about that. I'm just yelling at the dog. <laughs> um, overall, good. I like the way the batteries here sit on um, little feet. I like that. I'm going to put probably one or two more things from the sprue here. Like I got a couple extra um, sandbags. Whoops. A couple extra sandbags, some um, backpacks, things like that. Some extra, I think I had an extra rifle in here somewhere. Um, yeah, overall, it was good. It was good. So what we're going to do, uh, what we're going to do, we're going to put a little cut here. And we'll be right back with everything all painted up. Um, badly, probably. But painted up nonetheless. <laughs> See you in a few moments. Hello everybody, welcome back, and here is, uh, here's the entire combat patrol, painted up in all its glory, both squads of KD and infantry, the headquarters unit, uh, the sentinel, and the uh, batteries. Now, a couple things I wanted to mention that um, were good and bad about the actual uh, whole thing in general. Number one, I'm loving the sculpts. The models for these guys are so much more... Um, detailed than they were back in the day like 20 years ago so i'm, I'm very impressed with that um the way the arms and the gun sit still i think need some tweaking um just in regards to just the, they're just a pain in the butt <laughs> just like the the tower um i think that's my big it's just my, my my main gripe um the guns the field batteries awesome amazing you see i kind of personalize them a little bit i'm not going to touch them because the bases are still wet um I uh, graveled them and flocked them uh, last night, but then I put in some scenic, uh, scenic glue, scenic cement to lock in the, uh, the base material. So uh, overall, it was pretty good. Um, when it came to painting, it was pretty easy. They're all in camo cream. The, the green is camo creed. Um, the beige khaki color is Agaros Dunes. Um, every single piece of leather is done as snake bite leather. And then little pieces of uh, metal here and there, uh, minus these three guys, are done. Anything that's like supposed to be metallic gray is done in bas uh, basiliconum gray. Uh, they got black for the boots. And uh, the one guy over there, I used, I think it was um, Nagsgroth. Uh, yellow for the gold um, when it comes to these three guys though I changed things up a little bit um, as you already know um, as of the recording of this video I've already received my speed paints so this one this one and this one actually have some speed paint on them uh, this dude has speed paint black which is here um, some uh, silver and black um, my favorite part of this is actually if I can bring it around here is the silver that I used on the legs. It's black, it's like a nice, like grayish black, but it's its got a nice shine to it. I liked it. Um, I used a grayish white on this. Um, I can't remember what it was. It was like a, a um, oh, a, uh, it was a Citadel, Citadel uh, contrast paint, but I decided I wanted to keep these gray and then I washed a lot of this with like a, almost like a silver wash or a gray wash just because I was like well I want to do like a a steel thing where they because I mean these are going to be changed out constantly so these are going to be mostly new so I put them so they're mostly just steel and just left them as is um, I tried to keep the camo on the uh, the two leg supports on the artillery pieces a little bit better um, but I kind of failed at that eh. but what have you yeah, what's what's yeah what's experimenting if not uh, attempts at failure right so Overall, painting-wise, pretty good. Um, I will start bringing in the speed paints into more and more uh, colors, or sorry, more and more models. Um, in my next model, in the next one, it's going to be the Tal Pathfinders. So you guys will see that, and that'll be mostly uh, speed paints. Um, hopefully, I'll be doing them in a special pattern because they also double as a kill team. So we'll have to see. I'm going to be doing a uh, possible red. Uh, speckle pattern, kind of like a Canadian cat pat, but uh, with different reds instead of uh, greens, theoretically. I'm going to still have to test that out and see if that's going to work. <laughs> but yeah, there we go. So um, yeah, overall, I liked it. It's pretty good. Um, I think 
I think the biggest issue so far with any of them was the Sentinel with the legs being mislabeled and certain parts being done in the steps that you weren't supposed to do until a couple steps later. That was kind of un unfortunate. Um, yeah, overall, I liked it. It was pretty good. Um, with that in mind, though, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Appreciate you. Could have been watching anything, but you were watching this. So thank you very much, and I will see you in the next unboxing slash review. Bye-bye.